What's going on guys? Today is all about a review for the Gelly Chaos Spectrum mod. So let's get right into it. Guys, so today I have an interesting review for you today. It's for the Singeli Chaos Spectrum. It's a very appealing mod. It has cool LEDs on it and there's a lot of cool little features that I really like on this mod. Uh, mainly the aesthetics and how I can change the LED to pretty much uh, fit any kind of uh, tank or atomizer that I have on here. And plus I'm a really big fan of the Alien so I really want to give this one a review and see how it compares and let me tell you my pros and cons with it. So but first before we get into all that let's go down below and let's see what this thing has to offer. So here's the front of it, the front of the packaging. It says Chaos right there, Singeli. It has a beautiful picture of the device, and that says Spectrum. If you go over to the side right here, it has a QR code. It has an authentication label. It has 18 to 21 plus right down there, so they're definitely keeping on the ball with that. On the back, you have definitely what's in the box, some specifications, such as uh, it's a mod that goes from 10 to 230 watts. Output voltage is 1 to 7.5 volts. The resistance range is 0.1 to 3.0 ohms. It has spectrum. It has the legal age and all that. Had a close up for you. And if you go to this side, it has the barcode. It says Chaos Spectrum again. And it has some FCC verifications and certifications on the bottom. And there we go. And on the top you got chaos, and on the bottom you got spectrum. So let's slide this bad boy out. Now if you look at the top again, it says Singeli and then Chaos Spectrum. Again, top and bottom are gonna be the same, nothing on the sides, and on the back you have again the specifications, what's in the box, and the warning labels. Alright, so let's open this bad boy up and see what the goodies are inside. Boom. Alright, so the first thing we get greeted with is a certification in Chinese or Japanese and we can get rid of that. Next thing up is uh, it's an instruction to see the special security code from Singeli. Next up, we have a warranty card from Singeli. The countries and how to get your warranty claimed. Followed up by the user manual. Now we're greeted with the Singeli Chaos Spectrum mod. Now on the side over here we have the USB cable which is used for data. It also can be used for pass through charging although I do not suggest you use the onboard charging chip. I definitely recommend that no matter what mod you use if it has 18650s that you use an external charger. Here's that micro USB cable. Here's the Chaos Mod. Here's the front of it. Here's the selected buttons. Here's the screen. Here's the LED ring. 
Right here you got the, a nice big fire button. Over here you got a micro USB. On the back you're greeted with this pleatherly leather. On this side you got nothing. Now if you look on the top, you got a nice 510 pin right there, 510 threaded. You also got, you're greeted with Spectrum. Now if you look over here, it's going to be spring loaded. Spring loaded 510. So that checks out. Now if I'm reading this right, I just got this thing, but if I'm reading this right, this is 40 mil this is 40 millimeters going this way. By just shy of 90 millimeters going this way. by about 30 millimeters going this way. All right, so basically the battery sled down here. You got your minus and plus on the top right here. If you look in the device, you get the plus and minus down there too, so you know exactly where to put in your batteries. So, say right here has the minus on the bottom you get the minus on the bottom. This one has the plus on the bottom, if you can see it. It's kind of hard to see down there. But you also get the minus up top here, so you know, to put that. So there you go, and then you flip that down, and in. We'll do that again. So you flip it down, and then push down, and then pull in. There you go, that's how you do it. You turn the mod on, it's five clicks on. One, two, three, four, five. You get greeted with the Singeli home screen. Notice how the LED is already on. And then you get the wattage, the watts, the ohms, the volts, the amps. The volts of each battery and the battery bar percentage right there. Want to change the LED? You do it by this. Hit the power button three times. One, two, three. One, two, three. It'll give you the option of power TCR or color mode. You use the selector switch, go to color mode, and press the power button to select. Then you get to choose from all of these different colors. If you do it really fast, it's like you're at a disco. Yeah. Okay. Now that I'm done playing around with it. Now you can press the power button to select. I like the green. Now you can select when you're using it. So the light will be on when, you when you're when you using it and taking a vape. You can do always on where it stays on until you take out the batteries. Even when you turn off the device, it will stay on. The only time it will turn off is when you take out the batteries. Or you can do light off if you don't want the light and you just don't like the look of the LEDs or the mod you have. It doesn't, or the atomizer you have, it doesn't match. You can do that. I like to do it when I'm using, and that way it turns off when I'm not using it. And then that's how you do that. Now, if you want to change into temperature control, you just hit the button again three times. One, two, three. Go into power TCR, press the power button to select. Now you get to uh, choose between power, stainless steel, uh, titanium, uh, nickel, or nichrome 200, or nickel, my bad, nickel, and then uh, TCR. I like to do in power. Now, if you hold the two uh, directional buttons like this, you can set the resistance in temperature control. Hit the left arrow in the power button at once. You can lock the buttons.
to do the other button you can adjust the power preheat functions in the device the device starts all the way from 10 watts all the way to and if you notice this will change colors see so once it gets to 60 changes colors once you get even higher it'll go into red I really like this color display that Singeli has put on now it goes red and at 230 you're maxed out now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put back on my atomizer what we'll use right now is we'll use the new crown 3 review for this coming soon Right now I'm going to put it back down to 90 watts. It's a little bit slow when you're going through all the modes. Here you go, 90 watts. You notice how it checks the ohms, it's at 0.26 ohms, has the volt, the volts of the battery. Now let's go back up and vape on it. Okay guys, so now that we see exactly what this device has to offer, um, basically, I love this thing. I, I really do. I, I like the LEDs. I saw some reviews for it because I wanted to see what other people thought of it, but honestly, I don't care. Some people thought it was kind of gimmicky with, uh, the cool LED light ring. I think that's a nice selling point. Um, other people were like, oh, it's just a copy of the Alien. I don't really think so. I do, I do see the similar form factor as in size, but they they are different. This one has a LED light ring and a color screen that way. This one just has a black and white screen, a bigger screen. This one has a bigger fire bar. This one just has a small button. Don't get me wrong, I love my Alien, but I love this one for other reasons. Like, I I love that light ring. That That's definitely the sound point, and I don't think it's a gimmick because it does exactly what it says. I think gimmicks are features old that don't really work well, kind of like how some of the earlier companies sold temperature control in their mods and it doesn't work well or they didn't have a lot of good stainless, a uh, lot of good temperature control coils for the mod, like, for example, like, a, a smock mod will come with temperature control, not saying anything bad about smock's temperature control, because I hear they're one of the best, I just don't really use it much. But they sold it with the Baby Beast with temperature control, and that device didn't have temperature control. Any of the Baby Beasts or those coils, they only came in uh, Cantal. At least that's what I thought. But, now, what do I think of this mod? I, I think it's awesome. Again, it's, it's all about the fit and finish. I love these kind of mods that just fit in your hand. You can grab it and go. Now, when it comes to the fire button, the fire button's nice, it's big, it, I don't think it's as good as the Alien, but I do think it's nice, it definitely works well, you can just palm it in your hand, and take a vape, and it works fine, so technically you don't need to have your thumb there, and obviously do it the other way around, with your thumb. Uh, I'm still actually reviewing this crown tank, but the crown looks nice and works nice on it. Um, but let's try an RDA. I got my pretty goon right here. I got the black goon with the green drip tip. It'll go perfect with this. And let me just drip some of my strawberry silk on there if you guys haven't tried it yet. Definitely mix up. It's a definitely a good mix. I'm gonna drip some of my strawberry silk. All right, here we go. Look at this. Look at that green. I can't see it because it's really bright, but this is all lighting up green, and this is green drip tip. It matches really nice. It's really bright right now, so yeah, that's that's one of the cons that I figured out with this mod, is that it when you're at really bright areas, um, not only is the screen a little bit more difficult to see, but so isn't that light ring. You kind of have to be in like dark areas to see it really nice. Otherwise, you see like kind of green spots and then like empty blotches in the middle. But if you're in a dark area, the whole thing lights up really nice. 
So here we go, let's try it with this. I gotta put it on, I'm gonna put it up to 130. That's my usual wattage range. Oh, went up too high. All right, here we go, cheers. There you go guys, so you can see it definitely gives you vapor. It looks really nice at the same time. This thing chucks, man. Gives you the power, it's almost instant when you press the button. I'm gonna press the button right now. No weird delay. It gives you the power it says. I definitely think this is stronger than the Singeli Fuchai 213 for sure. I had that one right here. Now, when I purchased this one, I had reservations because of this mod and how they treated Daniel, uh, DJ LSB. Uh, when he did his tests on it and supposedly it didn't go to the full wattage uh, the Spokesperson for Singeli or something kind of lashed out at Daniel the reviewer I didn't really like that so I did have reservations about purchasing this mod But I really did like LED and I've dropped this one a couple times and this thing is still going strong There's only just a couple scuff marks on the bottom for from normal wear from putting it down And then there's like just a little couple things on the side, but for the most part this thing works like a champ so I was like, okay, well, if I buy this mod, I should be okay, because you have the durability, they're well built from Singeli. So, yeah, so this one, again, same thing, it's all metal design, it looks like plastic, but for sure, this is all metal. And, to tell you the truth, I did drop it once, and you saw it in the review, I just showed you everything, now it's after it was already dropped, you probably could barely see it, but if you did, I dropped it, and it was about maybe chest high, because it slipped out of my hand. And there's just a little tiny stuff on it, and it hit a hard surface. So, that shows you this is built well, it's built to last, it's not going to have the same problems with the Alien. So I feel like, oh, hey, I might want an Alien, or I might want the Chaos mod. If you're worried about it getting scuffed up and messed up, you might not want an Alien, because they do have paint issues. Case in point, here's my first edition Alien, right here has all the paint problems in the world. This is really bad, but this is when it first came out. But I did love the mod. I love the fit finish, so I ended up getting another one. But, and I have bad news for you guys. If you guys are my subscribers, you already know I'm like, I'm gonna baby this. But I have babied it, and I already see a couple chips right here. I haven't even dropped it yet. So I'm gonna look into like a clear wrap for this guy, but unfortunately, I think the alien is gonna have the same problems as before. So that's a bummer, but with Singeli, you don't get that. You get nice, nice paint, nice paint, nice construction, as the cool LED light up ring. I think this one's a win. So I hope you guys like my first review on a mod. Uh, I've never done a review on a mod before, but I did want to put a variety on my channel. I will probably get better at it as I go along. But I could definitely recommend this mod. So far, I've been loving it. It seems like it's going to last uh, the weather of time, or at least as much as the China mod would. But I've had this one for maybe almost a year, and it's still going strong. So I, have no, I, I think this one will last a long time, too. So I, I'm really happy with it. I think you guys will enjoy it. It definitely does deliver with the LEDs. The LEDs do work fine. It does fire fine. As a, it's nice in the hand, it feels like it's well constructed, and if this is your thing and your look and you like something that fits very nice in the hand, go for it. So, I want to thank you guys so very much for watching. If you need anything for, like, say, DIY e-liquid, always check the links in the description. I have very good deals going on down there. And if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also, we have the JFM Development Just Friggin' Mix group. Make sure you join that group. There's a lot of cool stuff, a lot of cool mixers over there. Like, comment, subscribe. You guys have yourselves a great day. Peace.